Hey guys, I wanted to talk today about planting an orchard. Uh, the benefits of planting one are tremendous. And not only for to produce fruit and produce nuts for you and your family to eat throughout the year, but also to bring in wild game and then potentially harvesting that wild game for meat for your freezer. Hey buddy, you wanna turn around? That's much better, huh? That's much better. The way I thought about this was a lot of people in, the, in this area in Ohio plant food plots for deer to bring them in each year. Although they are effective, it's a lot of work and year in and year out. And I thought, well, is there an easier way to do this? So I thought, well, what about planting fruit and nut trees? You plant them once and then each year they produce and produce and produce. One thing I recommend is look at your neighbors and whatever your neighbors have you plant the opposite for instance if your neighbors have apple trees plant pear trees if your neighbors have pear trees plant apple trees so one of the things that i mainly focus on was the chestnut tree and that is what this is right here i have 18 chestnut trees planted out here i have some hybrid chestnuts and i also have some chinese chestnuts the good thing about a chestnut tree is not only do deer and turkey and all other wildlife love them but they will grow relatively fast and start producing nuts within three to five years of planting. Another thing, the chestnut tree used to be extremely common in this part of the United States, in Appalachia. It accounted for up to 25% of the forest before a chestnut blight was introduced to the United States and wiped them out. So the deer are programmed genetically to eat these chestnuts. They will seek them and travel long distances now chestnuts aren't the only thing I planted. I also planted pear trees, I planted apple trees, and I also planted a couple persimmons trees, which are pretty rare at this part of the country. So planting food plot trees is a win-win-win situation. You plant them and not only do you get to watch them grow and benefit the crop that they produce, but also the wildlife will benefit from it too. Dang wind. So therefore you can benefit by potentially harvesting the wildlife that come in each fall to eat the nuts and fruits that fall from your trees. For instance, if you raise a hog, you buy that hog as a young little piglet and you raise it and feed it and every day you have to go out and you have to feed and take care and until you get to the point where you can harvest that animal. Where if you can take advantage of say a white-tailed deer such as in Ohio, it grows itself. You don't have to do anything. You plant the trees, you bring them in like a magnet and you got quality, nutritious meat in your freezer year in and year out. And that is my goal, is to create a magnet to bring the surrounding deer into me and I could potentially harvest them. And I think you should strongly consider planting fruit and nut trees on your property. I also believe even if you only owned a half acre in the suburbs, that if you planted a, a few certain trees on your property, you could bring in the deer, potentially harvest them with an archery permit. Uh, it doesn't matter how much land you have, I think you could take advantage of this method. And if you're into food plots, which is great and they work, you could plant these trees and plant the food plot in and around them until the trees get big enough to start taking over themselves. This Dunstan chestnut here was about four feet tall when I planted it and that was three years ago. And this tree is easily now about 14 feet tall. And the new growth this year hasn't even sprung up yet. This is a pear variety called Doc Special Trademark Pear. I got the, most of my chestnut trees and these pear trees from Hallman Farms. I'll leave the link below as to where I got them. I believe they're from one of the Carolinas. They shipped them up here to Ohio and Every single one of them survived and looks great. And this is its second year. And uh, they are supposed to drop every year, late October to early November. Small, round, little pears. And what more could you ask for from a little tree that's supposed to bring in deer for the first week in November? Uh, anyway, I'm excited to get a couple more years under these trees' belts and uh, hopefully it draws these deer in like magnets. I can't wait. Uh, I wanted to show you some of my apple trees here. Uh, when I moved here about three years ago, I had the idea to go ahead and plant some 
fruit trees. So I ran to the big box store and I grabbed, I think, uh, six different varieties of apple trees and I just stuck them in the ground and left them. I put no protection around them. I just stuck them in the ground and, and left. And that was a big mistake. The deer ate every single leaf off of every tree and I thought they all were dead. The following spring, I did realize I lucked out and two of the six survived. So I went around and I took extra care to put cages around or tubes around every tree that I own. That way it is protected by the deer while they are small to later bring the deer in when they are big. So I have multiple varieties of apples. I know I have Liberty apples, I've got Gala apples, I got Macintosh apples. I also have two peach trees that I have planted. Um, in my opinion, more, more the better. Another thing I wanted to tell you too, is most fruit and nut trees need a pollinator. So you don't wanna just plant a single tree by itself. If you buy an apple tree, buy another variety of apple tree and plant it within the same vicinity. That way they can pollinate back and forth and that'll allow it to set fruit. Well guys, there you have it. Uh, go ahead and get your fruit and nut trees in the ground. You will not regret it. I mean, what's more self-sustainable? than having the trees out here to produce the carbohydrates you may need and those carbohydrates bring in the protein that you need. And like they say, there's the two best times to plant a tree. The first one's 20 years ago and the second one's today. I hope you guys have a good day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.